What is going on everyone? Are you sick of the big city? Want to find a nice rural town, get a mortgage, and breathe fresh air? Who doesn't, right? Today we're looking at great rural towns in Colorado. This is the sixth video in this series. We did the entire US, then New Hampshire, Montana, Tennessee, and California so far. Today we're looking at the great state of Colorado. A couple things about rural Colorado towns. They can get extremely expensive. Some of the towns are amazing, like Telluride, Aspen, Vale, to name a few, but they're really only for the rich and famous. Emphasis on rich. I could do an entire video on those type of places, but then the video would just be about mountain towns 99% of us can't afford to live in. What we're looking for in this video is that sweet spot, a decent place to live that isn't too close to a major city, it's easy on the crime rate, not five hours away from a hospital, and not so far out in the sticks where you can't get decent internet. This video is kind of targeting people that are retiring or people that work from home. That's the way this country is going. A lot of those types are moving to small town America. They want to find a rural place and just call it good. Some of the things like internet and crime and being too far away knocked a lot of really good towns off this list. In the last few videos, I explained that most of the videos on this channel, we do 10. We do top 10 lists. But not all of these states have 10 decent towns that could fit on this list. So in Colorado, we got seven. Let's take a look. Number seven, Paonia, Colorado. Peonia is a small town that sits on the North Fork of the Gunderson River. I've seen this river a couple times and it's a creek. It's only about shin deep. I'm sure it gets a little bigger during different times of the year, but it wasn't that big when I went there and both times I went was in the summer. So yeah, you have that. Peonia is about five hours west of Colorado Springs and about an hour north of Montrose, Colorado. This is a nice rural mountain town. It's just fresh air, great scenery, nice people. It's got a population of about 1,400 residents that enjoy a crime rate that's 34% lower than the national average. That is outstanding. So Peonia gets a thumbs up for their crime rate. And good news, after a two-year pandemic hiatus, the Palisade International Honeybee Festival is regaining momentum. This is a festival they have downtown with like, you know, 50, 60, 70 vendors every single year other than the pandemic. It's that type of place that has a nice little festival. I love small towns in Colorado. A lot of times they look like regular towns that you'd find any place else like in California or Utah or whatever. But then you look around, you go, oh yeah, it's surrounded by mountains and it's beautiful. When you're not downtown enjoying the Honey Bee Festival, you can go home and use Spectrum Internet. They get 100 megs here and they cover about 85% of the town. CenturyLink's also there that covers some more. Now, they get a thumbs up for that. When it comes to their healthcare, they don't have anything in town, but 15 minutes away in Hotchkiss, they have a clinic, and then if you wanna go 30 minutes away in Delta, they have a full-blown hospital, which is called Delta County Memorial Hospital. Because they don't have anything in Paonia, and that one's just an annex down there in Hotchkiss, they get a faded thumbs up for healthcare. I was watching one YouTube channel called uh, Ghost Girl Diaries, and apparently she thinks Peonia is haunted. Number six, Georgetown, Colorado. Georgetown. Almost every Georgetown I've been to is a nice place to live, and this Georgetown in Colorado is no exception. This Georgetown is tucked in a nice little valley with the Clear Creek running right through town. It has a nice little area called Sixth Street, which is sort of serves as their, you know, downtown cool area where everyone gets coffee and tourists show up. Most of the time that street's called Main Street or something. Not in this town. It's Sixth Street. The Main Street in Georgetown, it's like a dirt road that goes by houses. Georgetown sits about an hour west of downtown Denver. And it's a little out there from any kind of real medical care. The closest place is probably Red Rocks Medical Center. And that's a hospital. And they are about 40 minutes away. So if you got any pressing medical needs, this might not be the best place for you. But if you got bad lungs and you need some fresh air, it's a great place for you. Georgetown gets a faded thumbs up for health care. When it comes to the crime rate, it's not the best, but it's still lower than the national average. It's 4% lower. So they get a faded thumbs up when it comes to crime rate. When you take a look at their internet, they're doing pretty good. 84% of the town is covered by Xfinity, which can get you a gig. There's another 80% of the town is covered by CenturyLink, which will give you 140 megabytes per second. So they get a big thumbs up when it comes to internet. When you look at the housing in Georgetown, if you haven't picked up by now, it's expensive in Colorado. There's none of that 150,000 for a decent place in Colorado. Colorado's popular, Colorado's nice, so you gotta pay for it. Currently, the only thing they have for sale in Georgetown is a three bedroom condo and it's going for $419,000. I looked back to see what sold within the last few months 
back in February, they were selling a couple different homes for about $450,000 to $550,000. Between September and November of 2021, they sold some really nice looking homes, two, three bedrooms. Those were going for about $360,000 to $420,000. But in my opinion, just going off of what I saw on Zillow, you could probably get a decent house here for between $450,000 and $500,000. So real estate in Georgetown gets a thumbs up because they don't have a bunch of homes that are a million dollars plus, like a lot of towns in Colorado. Number five, Florence, Colorado. Back to the front range, we go to Florence. Florence is a small town of around 4,000 residents, and it's called a statutory town. I didn't know what that meant. My first thought was that it's a town that's not old enough to date a 20-year-old, but I was wrong. It has nothing to do with that. It is a type of town. It's got some weird little laws with it, but on the East Coast, they call them villages, like in New York and Delaware. Florence sits on the Arkansas River, about 40 minutes west of Pueblo. This isn't a mountain town. It's kind of at the base of the mountains, like the foothill area, and it's about 30 minutes east of the Royal Gorge Bridge. If you've never seen that, it's an extremely high bridge that's extremely uncomfortable to walk across. The crime rate here is outstanding. They are 60% lower than the national average, which is phenomenal. So they get a big thumbs up for that. When it comes to internet, you got no worries there. Xfinity covers about 70% of the town and they can get one gig. You can't get Xfinity, you might be able to get CenturyLink, which has 50 megabytes per second and they cover about 90% of the town. So big thumbs up for that. And the news gets better for Florence. Their housing costs aren't terrible and the homes aren't horrible. You could actually find here, matter of fact, they have some for sale right now that are going for 225000 and 250000 and they look like they're livable homes. A majority of the homes here sell for 350 to 450 but they look decent. I'd live here. Now the south side of town, like up in the hills, it looks like dirt roads and it doesn't look the best, but the main part of Florence looks pretty good. So they get a thumbs up when it comes to their real estate. Healthcare is a different story. They have a small clinic in town, which should be able to cover some things for you. If you need anything past what they can offer, Colorado Springs and Pueblo aren't terribly far away, so they get a thumbs up for healthcare too. Florence is a nice rural town. I like it. Number four, Julesburg, Colorado. Julesburg is a small farming town in the northeast corner of Colorado near the Nebraska border. This area breaks one of the main rules of moving to Colorado. You can actually live here on a budget. The cost of living here is 20% lower than the national average and the 1,300 residents kind of enjoy that. They also enjoy a crime rate that's 29% lower than the national average, so they get a thumbs up for that one. Julesburg has the South Platte River flowing just south of town, not a lot to do there. They do have a reservoir where you you know, camping and fishing down the road a bit, but there isn't a lot to do here. This is a nice, quiet farming town. If you're looking to just live a quiet life and get by, this is a good place to do it. Now, their internet's kind of so-so. They got CenturyLink and a company called PC Telecom. CenturyLink will get you 100 megabytes per second. They cover about 85% of the town. PC Telecom covers about 87% of the town, and they'll get you 200 Mbps. So they get a thumbs up for that. Now, when it comes to healthcare, that's a different story. This probably isn't the best place for you if you have some nagging health concerns that you're worried about. In town, they have a place called the Sedgwick County Health Center, which has some options for you, not a lot. Anything past that, you're going to have to go down to Sterling an hour away where you'll find the Sterling Regional Medical Center. That has a lot more for you. If you need a giant hospital, you're going to Denver. So they get a faded thumbs up. Not that they're doing bad work in town, it's just not very big and I'm sure if you need a lot of different things, it, you're not going to find it there. Now here's where they shine. Housing in Julesburg is pretty cheap and the houses they have for sale right now are decent. They have one that looks nice. It looks like it's small and it looks like it's older, but it looks like it's been maintained and could probably use a coat of paint and maybe some new carpet. It's going for $75,000. It's two bedroom, one bath. It's not that big, but it's doable. They also have an older one, 160,000, one that's 70,000, one that's 99,000. It's not terrible. They got a really nice one for 200 99,000. That's not bad. But yeah, they have a lot of homes here under 300,000. If you want some acreage, you can go outside of town a little bit and get one for about 450,000. So they get a big thumbs up when it comes to their real estate. This one's great for you if you want to save some money. Maybe you don't have a bunch of money in retirement or whatever, and you don't care that there's not a lot of entertainment here. 
Number three, Rangeley, Colorado. Rangeley is a small town near the Utah border, about 20 minutes from Dinosaur, Colorado, on the northwest side of the state. Rangeley has the White River running along the north side of town, and it's a great place to retire or raise a family. This is a really nice town, and like the last one on this list, Julesburg, it's affordable when it comes to housing. I guess you gotta get towards the edge of the map before real estate becomes reasonably priced. Rangeley is a bit out there. It's kind of far away from everything. The closest big city is Grand Junction, and Grand Junction's not a terribly large city, and it's about an hour and 45 minutes away. It's to the south. Rangeley has a little over 2,000 residents, and they have a crime rate that's 98% lower than the national average. I think Disneyland has a higher crime rate. So they get a big thumbs up when it comes to crime. When it comes to internet, they're doing pretty good. They have CenturyLink covers about 90% of the town, and you can get 100 megabytes per second with them, but Spectrum is also also there giving you one gig and they cover about 84% of the town. So they get another big thumbs up right there. They also have a little hospital in town. It's pretty good size. I shouldn't say little. It's good size, especially for a town of only a little over 2000, like I said. It is called the Rangeley District Hospital. Anything you need past that, you're going to be going down to Grand Junction or Salt Lake City if you really need to. So they get a thumbs up when it comes to their health care. Now, let's take a look at the property here because this is not bad. You can get homes here that are decent. They're, you know, older homes, probably built in the early 70s, and you can get them for under $175,000. They have a few right now for 155, 115, which looks like it needs some work. You got another one for 134, one for 169. You can get a good place here. There's a really nice one right now. It's kind of small, but 129,000. That is not bad prices for Colorado. Sure, they got some around there with a lot of property that go for over 500,000, but you can still get something decent for under, I'd say 250, you're going to be doing pretty good. So they get a big thumbs up when it comes to real estate. But like I said, it's a nice place. They got the White River right there in case you're into fish and things like that. They also have a little uh, local airport, the Rangeley Airport. That's on the east side of town. Overall, Rangeley is a pretty good place to live. Number two, Meeker, Colorado. About an hour east of Rangeley, you have the small town of Meeker. This is a solid choice for anyone looking for a small town. Like Rangeley, they got the White River just south of town, hiking trails, golf, and some fairgrounds. Meeker is affordable and not run down. Affordable normally comes with a crime rate that makes you buy a security system, a security door, and then worry at night that your daughter will bring home a boy with a neck tattoo that says toxic. That's not a thing here. Meeker has around 3,000 residents and a crime rate that's 69% lower than the national average. So they get a big thumbs up for that. When you go to get internet, you got two choices. CenturyLink, which has 100 megabytes per second, and they cover about 92% of the town. And then Spectrum has one gig, and they cover about 64.2% of the town. So they get a thumbs up for internet. When it comes to healthcare, not a worry in the world. Meeker has a brand new hospital called Pioneers Medical Center. This is a 10-bed hospital with an emergency room, a skilled nurses area, and a surgery center. Everything you need is going to be here. Maybe a specialist, you might have to go someplace else, but they got you covered here with just about everything from what I can tell. So they get a big thumbs up for healthcare. When it comes to real estate, they're doing great here. Older homes that are going to need some work, you could find for under 100,000. Decent ones or at least workable ones are going to be between 200 and 250,000, but the nicer ones start off about 350,000. So they got something for everyone here. Their downtown is nice and they've got a bunch of parks everywhere. Meeker's a solid choice for anyone. So they get a big thumbs up for their real estate. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There is a link down below. You know this whole thing. I've been saying it for months. Please go over, subscribe, watch some videos. All right, on to number one. And number one, Crested Butte, Colorado. Crested Butte is a really nice place to live if you want to get away and you like to ski. And in the summer, you like to mountain bike, hike, and do all that good stuff. This is an outdoor lover's dream. There's about 2,000 people that live in Crested Butte, and they enjoy a crime rate that is 47% lower than the national average. Yes, phenomenal. So they get a thumbs up for that. When it comes to healthcare, they got a couple different facilities in town, like the Crested Butte Medical Center, which has emergency room and urgent care and all that good stuff. They got orthopedics. If you need anything beyond what they have, you got a little bit of a trip. 
You got Heart of the Rockies Regional Medical Center about an hour and a half away. If that doesn't work for you, you got to go all the way to Colorado Springs, and that's a trip. That's almost four hours away. So they get, you know, they got a nice place there, but you've got quite a trip if you need something serious that they can't help. So they're getting a faded thumbs up. Not saying that what they got going on, they're doing a bad job or anything like that. I'm sure they're doing an excellent job. It's just anything else, it's too far away. So if you're up there in age or something like that, you need some kind of specialist that isn't in Crested Butte, you wouldn't want to be living in Crested Butte. But you know, honestly, these days, with all the video appointments that they have with doctors, it might still be doable. Who knows? When it comes to real estate, they're kind of in the middle. I mean, they're not crazy like something like Telluride or Aspen or something where your starting price for a house is $2 million. You can buy homes here for $600,000, $500,000. Even last year, they were selling some for $399,000. So you just got to look around. They don't have anything going right now for sale that isn't just a blank piece of property that you got to put a house on. So they get a thumbs up because they're not crazy expensive. They just don't have a lot of options right now. If you did decide to move here, keep one thing in mind that during the ski season, this town gets kind of big, just kind of swells during the ski season. And I'm sure it does quite a bit too uh, when summer comes around and people start mountain biking the hills and hiking and all that good stuff. When it comes to internet, they get a big thumbs up. Spectrum covers 99% of Crested Butte and they offer a gig along with uh, CenturyLink offers 80 Mbps and they cover 99% of the town. So they get a big thumbs up for internet. All right, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. If you got a state you want to see next, let us know in the comment section. We'll see what we could do. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Be nice to each other.